This is making moves. And we're 50,000 rand to invest in a business. 11 entrepreneurs will come face to face with our panel of judges to pitch for this investment. I'm not convinced on where you're wanting to spend the money. Your business could be in line to win this grand prize and our money in the bank seat. Your business could be operating from home, the streets, or at a fancy office. No matter, from a bicycle. Oksalaya, we are looking for you. Only four entrepreneurs will make it to the final episode to pitch for that investment. Watch Making Moves every Monday, 2 p.m. on SABC1. Zanzi for show. Tabi, so welcome back. Thank you for having me. Okay, your time starts now. Uh, well, we at Greener Pastures would like to win this 50,000 Rand because it would mean that uh, we have broken the 50,000 Rand into three phases. Okay, how much does that amount to on a monthly basis? I haven't okay. gone down actually. So you haven't done the mathematics? Yes, I haven't done the mathematics on how much we're losing. Mm -hmm. Jongo bage South Africa is figure e zingeni eli shega kulu maguza kwezi waste management model. Recycling entrepreneurs are turning trash into cash. Gauteng province alone generates about 45% of South Africa's municipal waste. A young and exuberant entrepreneur from East Rand, yenage ubone ituba guwana gilu mkakalon. Jongo bage abantaba shabaningi, bebugela panzi gele nkundale. Sikrita usugu na ye gilu mdisa luna lape pinsin lag. Lapo yekona yibesi funu wazi gabanzi, gawe ili mkunta lena sebenza giwan. Futi, nuguti pizinsi laki, di sebenza ganja. My name is Tabiso Shongwane. I am the founder of Greener Postures. What we do, we offer waste management services as well as recycling to the community. We specialize in white paper, guard board, glass and cans. You can find us in Alex, at Alex Mall as well as in Kempton Park. You can get us on social media as well as on our website. Alex, I'm Tanji. I'm going to talk to you about business. We're going to talk to you about business. We're going to talk to you about business. We're going to talk to you about management. So, when you talk to you about business, you're going to talk to you about business. 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 Mr. T, how is it? Good evening, sir. I'm good, thanks. Yeah, what's good, sir? Ah, sharp, sharp. Ah, no, thank you, thank you, thank you. 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 Ah, no, thank you. Yes, sir. So, tell me, sir. Yeah, boy. You know, we're going to get a good job in the house. What's going on today? Yes. I'm going to get a good job. It just happened. I'm from the Burbs. I'm going to get a good job. I'm going to get a good job. I'm going to get a good job. So I approach my logistics company. I'm a logistics company. I'm going to get a good job. I'm going to get a good job. So man, get an apart go skip in. Veling to the overall, in each plastic, in tata legging, legging if you know. Veling, veling, tati white paper, tati cardboard, in tati plastic, bem church of it. Yes, sir. What thing I eat in this journey was ugly. I kept it all under my mind. Ah, basically, I didn't have money at all. I approach a la penzi in the vele. Go up an opportunity of getting yenzi plant tire for. Fokwa na lapenzi ni, so ngale yama libingi seva ngazi tenge liveni, maji veni ya seven za lai moli, seven za na sema logistics company. Yes sir. Yabo yabo. Ni anzo kuti business la kwalso hula le seven zalena e Kempton Park. Yabo. Juu asilana kwa manje e Alex ngoba kona ubuzi lani onabo. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me a bit about that. Untole go social media, Instagram. Wang inbox, wabona go tingenzani. Isn't tingenzani? She liked it. At the meeting, we met up. We made a proposal. Size so up meet her. But select her. Well, go to send the Alex Molve. Yeah. Oh, kona ngapagat. I should not kona ngapagat. Okay. When I wanted the deal, I'm Alex Small. I approached Tabiso, the founder of Queen Pastures, to suck this deal. And then eventually, when I contacted him, I got a deal, and then, yeah, we had Alex Small now doing waste management together. Partnership, because first of all, Tabiso and I have the same values when it comes to global warming, like little say eco friendly and stuff. So, I knew, okay, this is the right partner not for me. The responsibilities are on a couple. We must make sure that all the bins outside and inside the mall they clean, and then um, we have to keep it as clean as possible. And then it lets a cage air daily, so we work very hard. Greener Pastures was uh, introduced to us through um, Galax Cock, which is the Greater Alexandra Chamber of Commerce, um, who is one of our partners at Alex Mall. They have really been uh, wonderful to work with right from the beginning. It wasn't easy for them to, to jump in and, and begin this contract. It, we we kind of threw them in the deep end. But right from the beginning, they uh, went out of their way. They were proactive. They showed good initiative. Um, in, in, in setting up the waste management uh, service uh, here at Alex Moore. So, I know the piece is a No, look at them. So, love is sorting table here today. Now, overall, I know I'm not love. Yeah, no stress, no stress. It's not that I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not police. Uh, I think like the is to sort all the plastic and the white paper. Hey, it's a good thing. At the same time, Maracas is a good thing. It's 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 a good doing recycling. We do recycling of paper and plastic, and uh, we also do recycling of steel. Green Pastures approached me uh, and, 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 and seeked uh, help. So I had to sit down with him and advise him that for you to start moving uh, the, the, the recyclable waste, you need to, to sort it according to different grades. I think his account is barely a year. But he's, he's turned around almost, I can, I can say, about 30 tons of, of cardboard that we have uh, moved for him. He's doing very well. So when I work away, like I hear you, 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 you. So there's actually, yes, greener pastures. So there's actually no vision for the joint venture in your plans. What's the plan? Born and bred in the Eastern Gauteng, Utabiso, Ukulele Mdeni no bunga funi luto ongai. Upinda ukrei ten, yezi nga izezi nito bezi liku nika kule nzizu wale nage ege ape gana nazo, kalis kati sakul. Utokisene natu wasichela gabanzi nkemfela piake, wasichela nguguti ya nage wainzizu njane sakul. 
futhi waphinde wasitshela ngokuthi uthando lwakhe lwama business laqala kuphi warm loving but they always tell me how i need to make my own mistakes bamponsa mo le mo mara tswantsele ne ke ke from whatever i do and it needs to grow me i need to learn from it my childhood was very playful Uh, so I was never lonely. Uh, my twin was always around. Never gang really to hurry, worry, na yo. I go on really for for weeks. If we look at someone, someone I intervene. Yeah. So my gang na gang tan and je. It's just that we fight a lot. So I didn't need anyone else because na liteng kilo awan. Primary, I grew in the estate man. Then from a estate man, I buy a CPA for high school. Utabiso was one person who had the same marks as the brother. You have to push him. Uguti Utabiso studies, do this, do that. Tabiso ke motho o o ratang to have fun. He doesn't let anything get to him. He's always a happy person. So he likes things to be done now. Tabiso is a fighter. I don't see him as an average thinker. I'm very outspoken. I'm very impulsive. Ke yo how to answer ke tsa something ke yetsa Yes, Papa, and you know, was going to get curious in a sense. You're good team. We used to have a mataxi and Lin Utabis was one person who basically says, I'm a pass way more to good tea into a so into a journey to an extent. Even now, Utabis knows he is sound here more to good. My color so super when you're paying to a tea or super wins again. So it's that person not turned to good tea in Jay. Relationship uh, I'd say it's it's a it's a good relationship. Yo, she's my best friend. Babe open to me. Utabi so young jellies do like We we talk about everything. Uh, sometimes I feel like I tell her too much, but uh, I think it's good because she she allows me to to just say what I can. Uh, well, my weaknesses, I'd actually say I'm an impulsive spender. I said I want to have a chatting, tandy digging, so I just tell me about my next of next month. That eh, so thing, man. I'm not sure that I'm a strong character, so that he is very persistent. We are forced. I'm not sure whether that's a strength, but I'm really persistent. To be honest, I think I'm a good leader. In terms of to be a good leader, you need to be able to give people opportunities in terms of what is happening around you. The greener pastures, bona ge ba funugu bangunga pambili ye. When campaign, we search in zisuanga mass shopping centers. Oma ngabe guza gulezi geze waste management. They are young and exuberant, but do they have a clear strategy on how to achieve their goals? Jenga manje ba se studio se tu utoko sana no okel. Lapoge they are unpacking their vision. 
Uh, well, we just arrived at the Making Move Studios. Uh, we just about to meet Okela just to learn a few things. Uh, Lebo? Oh, well, I'm excited to meet Okela. And I'm feeling very nervous, but then I can't wait to learn about how to scale a business and maintain relationships. And what are you expecting to learn, Tabiso? Oh, well, this whole experience is, is amazing on its own. So I just want to learn what is happening in my business and how I can be able to grow it, you know? Okay. One man's rubbish is another man's gold. Tabiso and his partner started the business with the purpose of managing waste at shopping centers. They're currently servicing the newly built Alex Mall. Welcome to studio. Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you for having us. So, how long have you been in partnership? Well, Tabiso and I have been uh, in partnership for like six months now. And then when we signed the deal at the Alex Mall, that's when we started our joint venture. Oh. Okay, so joint ventures actually kind of work to be tricky at the best of times, much like partnerships. Yeah. Sure. What are you both bringing to the party that's making this joint venture work? Uh, what, well, what happened was Lebo approached me because I had already started my recycling business. I was collecting from logistic companies. Lebo, what do you bring to the party? Well, what I brought to the table was the Alex Mall deal. So what does your business actually do? Oh, biorecyclers, what we do is actually do recycling and okay. waste management. Okay. Are you maxing out your capacity on this venture? Yes. In other words, are yes. you dedicating all your resources to executing this contract at Alex Mall? Yes. Definitely. Uh -huh. Okay, so how are you going to grow? Because here you are, you're pouring both your companies into this single contract. Where is there room for those doors that you're knocking to come and be serviced? Uh, well, well uh, I've got a van, so what I do is the van, we use it for Alex Mall and we also use it for the logistics companies. So it's not Greener Postures just doing Alex Mall, it's Greener Postures doing okay. recycling as well as plant type. Okay, so now you are saying that you use this van for something else outside of the business, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At some point, that's going to trip you up. Yes, At some sure. point, it's going to mean that there's going to be a conflict of interest. Are you still maintaining that you're two separate companies and you're not going to come together? No, we are joining together. We're going to be a joint venture doing <coughs> waste management. Okay. That's what we're going to do. Hence, I'm going to sign deals for waste management. It's going to be for the both of us, and he's going to do the same as well. Okay, so what's the point? Why aren't you just in one company? Uh, because I, uh, well, because I had started my business... So Way earlier. Oh, way earlier. So, so actually, she, there's some factions in this partnership. Yes. Uh -huh. So you're already experiencing something where you guys are clashing, and just a bit. You're not able to pull forward. Just a bit. Uh, so, so Tabi, so come on, get specific with me. What exactly are these challenges that are happening? Uh, in, term, in terms of, I mean, partnership, Sheva. Naniki is a recycling killer one. And when she approached me, I wasn't doing waste management. Ah. Next had to be anything about waste management. So now it's recycling. So go waste management, So what I did, I had chalete ah. that was saved up a bit to buy the pins and the tons of the can Alex Mall. So when I work away, like I hear you, 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 greener you, you. So there's actually, greener yes, greener pastures. So there's actually no vision for the joint venture in your plans. So it, it just happens to be an incidental thing that's coming through your books, that's coming through the business, the company. But it doesn't sound like you actually have a vision to grow this thing beyond. Well, we do. Okay. Well, we do because I mean, in terms of we're doing waste management together because yeah. now my intention wasn't to do waste management at okay. first. I was just doing recycling. What's the plan? How are you actually going to come together, resolve these challenges, mm -hmm. and come up with a vision for the joint venture, venture. Sure. and weigh out the pros and cons of, is this a joint venture or is this a company? Sure. Yeah. Sure. Should we do this together or should mm -hmm. we just save our time, go our separate ways and grow businesses? I had a look at your bank statements, mm -hmm. and yes, they probably belong to Greener Pastures. Yes. Mm -hmm. Who is the custodian of your finances? Who's oh, he is for now. Okay. Tabis, yes. are you committed to your vision? Yes, I am. Tabis, yes, are I you am. committed to your vision? Yes, I am. Why are you using that account for personal use? Uh, because the first time we started, there were people that uh, a lady that was busy helping us, how Zara, is because we had to get a gift voucher. Okay. We had to get her there, then I was using my business. Okay. Sounds like an excuse. No, I need to change that. I need to transfer 
my salary into my personal account. But are you not paying yourself your salary already? No, I wasn't. Are you certain? Yeah, I wasn't. I believe you're shop uh, servicing shopping centers, right? Yes. Yeah. Which other shopping centers have you approached? Uh, there's one that's in Madrid in Allendale that I'm that they're busy constructing as we speak. So I've approached them. So right now they're still waiting for my business profile. So I'm currently busy with that. Okay. okay. And then there's also one in Auckland Park, Mall Park. And then yeah, I'm also talking to them as well. And then they're also waiting for my business profile. So, but the thing ooh, is, wait. I want to. You are doing your business profile, but we're growing the joint venture. Yes, that's because he's also doing his own. So when I'm done and when he's done, I'm going to make it uh, one thing. Okay. And then, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Enough about joint ventures. Okay. What other challenges are you facing in the business? Um, there's a lot of theft okay. at the mall. Uh, mm -hmm. and what are people stealing from you? In these nets, over the skip bins, these mm -hmm. our dust bins, our wheelie bins. Mm. So we one wheelie bin goes for four hundred, yeah. and now we get ten lost. So what are you gonna do? Because this sounds like an actual business challenge. It sounds like what mm -hmm. you're investing your money in, your assets, mm -hmm. is slowly disintegrating and being stolen. Actually, rolling away. Yeah. Okay. Is. What we have actually done so far is that we have set up a meeting with a security company so that like they can tighten up their security so that if we have any losses, then we'll put, we'll bill it to them mm -hmm. instead. Where are you guys taking this in the next twelve months? Oh, we haven't have had a legit. Uh, strategy to move forward yeah because we're still sorting out our legal stuff as well okay sounds like there's quite a few challenges that you have to work out there yeah, yeah. okay thank you for your time guys no, thank, thank you, you. Okay. Tabiso and Lebo are over reliant on sourcing their material from one major supplier in addition to that they have some issues around financial mismanagement and their partnership we're going to send them to a coach who will speak them through their issues and how they can get around them uh, While well, studio was intense, there's a few things that I need to go back and sit down and fix. It was a bit challenging. Honestly, I got a bit shaken because you opened my eyes to a few things. But then, yeah, I got to learn a few things about how to manage finances and stuff. Greener Pastures prides itself in taking care of the environment while earning money from it. So far, the business seems to be headed in the right direction. Our business is a joint venture mm -hmm. right now at the moment in, at Alex Mo. Yeah. Uh, so what we do for the mall, we do waste management. Um, is that all that you guys do? Well, we also do recycling. So we, we recycle all types of recycling material, sure. like your boxes, okay. your cans, your glasses. Okay. We also have uh, different sorting bags for that as yeah. well. How lovely. And, and then your team, how many of you are you? Uh, there's actually five, five of our guys. That, five guys? Five yeah. guys at the mall. Full time, part time? Full time. They're all full time. Yeah. All full so it's five plus you two. Yes. yes. Okay. They have a beautiful business model. I mean, they're getting two types of revenue one from the customer, and then they're also going back to the manufacturing hubs and selling the waste that they, they have gotten from, from malls. So it's a beautiful model. And who's in charge of sales? Oh, we both are. You said her and you are like both of you? Honestly, who, it's who? the both of us. Okay. It's just that he's managing the account for now. He's managing the account? Yeah, yes. I'm managing And who's managing everything. the operations of, of the waste? The both of us. The both of you? Yes. Uh, how is but, that possible? Uh, well, who's managing, who's operating is me because I'm there on a day-to-day. -day. Okay. Uh, she's at work uh, every day. So at she's got work? a job. She's got a job. You've got a job? Yeah, internship for accounting is just for a year, and then the following year, I'm in the company full time. Uh -huh. Hence, I'm saying he's managing everything. And for are now. you earning a salary? Uh, for my internship, yes. Uh, from the business? Yes, because so, I'm there on weekends. And how are you paid? What By is the end mean? of the month. End of the month? Yes. Are you paid how? A salary? Wages? No, no, no. We get the money from the. And it's more for yeah. our services. And then, yeah, and then we just split the money. Yeah. So I want to quantify your time. 
So you are coming in on weekends. Mm -hmm. How many hours do you spend in the business? On weekends, I'm there from 8 until 4. Yeah. And then on Sundays, I'm there from 8 until 3. Okay, so yes. roughly 8 to 7 hours yes. per day. Uh -huh. So about 16 hours mm -hmm. every weekend. Yeah. Okay. And how are you paying yourself on that? Uh, how, how does it work? Uh, well, what, what happens is we've got our waste management services. Yeah. Basically, since it's a partnership, we just yeah. said, okay, and with that money, we'll split it 50-50. Sure, it's hampering a lot in terms of leadership and in terms of productivity. Um, you can imagine if one puts 100% or 150% of a time and effort in a business and the other partner is putting 10%, but they're both earning the same salary at the end of the month. You are working to bring in skills into his company. Our company. No, but you are not bringing the accounting skills in this company. I'll say our company. It, it's not ours. Okay. I, I need you guys to understand. Okay. This is where the partnership issues are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I think an, an awakening has taken place between the two in understanding that weight. Um, one is putting more effort than the other. And the other one feels very justified, saying, look, I've brought the deal. It's worth 100,000 rand. Um, you do the work. Um, I said I will bring the deal. So in, in essence, you're the sales agent. All right. <laughs> right or wrong? Take me. So why are you guys forcing each other into being a partners? So why don't, why don't you then become the sales anchor of cleanup pastures? Uh, because, I, I mean, clearly you are the, the, the sales head. I mean, you brought quite a huge deal okay, in the business. Line, okay, the mm. bottom line is I don't want to be an employee. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, you can still run your own company. Okay, we can only do that only if I get shares in his company. You see, this is what I'm getting to now. So mm -hmm. you want to actually buy into his company. No. You don't want to, but you just said unless you could get shares in your company. Yeah. What are you saying exactly? <laughs> what I'm saying is that if we are going to grow together, yeah. it's either we're going to continue as a joint venture in waste management, yeah. or if, it's go if we're going to have one company running, yeah. then we rather have like he buys into my company or I buy into his company. Okay. We'll decide on that. Okay. You know what, guys? Um, you need to find a mergers and acquisition consultant to sit the two of you down to break down what your roles and responsibilities are. Measures and acquisitions basically is about two companies or two individuals wanting to form one company and they coming in to evaluate the two, um, to evaluate company A, to evaluate company B, what the worths are and to decide who's buying and who's selling. I actually think it's a great idea. Uh, I even took uh, a call, a caller's numbers just to to help me out with that because it's something that's really important because now it just put to light a lot of things. Yeah. Chances are this joint venture thing needs to be very clear. Currently, it's not clear. Um, I can hear it from your side. You are actually the door opener. You know, you look like it. You speak it. And, and you're beautiful, and I can, I can get the passion that you have. And, and, and uh, for me, you're the seller. You're the guy that opens up the doors, and there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. And looking at your financial guys, mm -hmm. you guys are looting your business. Yeah. Guys, all the best tomorrow, and, and I, I wish you all the best. Okay. All right, no, thank, thank you, you so very much. much. They didn't understand it. I think now they get it. I think now they realize, wait, uh, a lot of wires are crossed here and they need to be cleared. I actually didn't realize that this ship could actually sink at any point in time because we're talking about a joint venture, joint venture this, but it's not really a joint venture because we haven't even structured it that way. I would like, he said some things that I never thought of doing, which I also didn't like at the same time, but I have to think about them. But then, yeah, he gave us like a way forward on how to do things instead of like sitting here doing nothing about it and being confused. At least he gave us a way forward, like a framework to work around it. We can get that 50 cents, 50 cents that we're losing and actually make four, 400 rand per kit. Per so case. it's 400 rand, not 40 rand? Yes, 400 okay. rand per collection of one cage. Mm -hmm. 
Sure. All right. Judges, any what? further questions? Tabi, so I think we've heard enough. Okay. Please step out for a moment as you allow the judges to deliberate. Okay, thank you very much. So that means we're not getting a new pitch. Yeah. How do you feel? A bit nervous, but we'll see. You'll see. Yeah. Yes. Ali, put on. All the best. Nyabo. Sure, na kwa. Sure, sure. Ah. Welcome back. Thank you for having me. We've spent some time getting to know your business and getting to know what you do at Greener Pastures. We're now going to give you the opportunity to pitch for an investment of 50,000 Rand. Okay? okay. Yes. You have four minutes. Okay. Okay. Your time starts now. Uh, well, we at Greener Pastures would like to win this 50,000 Rand because it would mean that it would mean more equipment for our company, which would provide us with growth and opportunity. Uh, we have broken the 50,000 rand into three phases. The first phase would be waste management training for our employees. The second phase would be purchasing of a cage. The third phase would be purchasing of a skip bin for loss collection. The first phase, which is waste management training for all five of our employees, it would cost, uh, it would cost us 16,000 rand, uh, 16,500 rand. The training will help uh, will be held by the South African Waste Institute of South Africa. Uh, it would give our employees the best skills when it comes to sorting waste, as well as knowing the different types of recyclable material. The training will increase productivity at work. It will help us with safety and hygiene. This will increase our profits because our staff will be able to identify new new recyclable materials which will increase our profits. The second phase, this is the purchasing of a cage. The cage will cost us 15,990. The capacity of the cage is 800 kgs of K4 recyclables, which is cardboard. Currently, our supplier provides us with this cage and he charges us one rent, he gives us one rent 20 per kg when Whereas when we have our own when we have our own cage, we will be getting one rand seventy one rand seventy per kg. Having a minimum of three collections per week, this will mean our company it, with a minimum of uh, three collections per week, this means our company is losing fifty cents fifty cents per per kg, which amounts to forty rand per collection and 1,200 rand a week, 4,800 a month, lastly, 57,600 per annum. Outsourcing equipment puts our company at a disadvantage because the money we're losing could be money that we're using to purchase new, better equipment for the company and sustaining the growth and profitability of the company. The third phase. The third phase is a four by six meter cubed skip bin for glass collection. The skip bin costs 15,897 15, Rand. We are currently getting 60 cents per kg on glass alone. We are making a maximum of 4,000 4, kgs, 4,000 kgs per month due to the lack of equipment and infrastructure. We're making an average of 2,400 Rand, whereas with a skip bin in place, we could load six tons of glass per month, which will amount to uh, 3,600 with no transport cost because console collects our skip bin at no cost. 
This means we'll be able to save on renting out of a forklift in order to load bulk bags onto the van. We'll be saving on transport as well as purchasing of bulk bags every two months because they get damaged. With ev everything that I've mentioned amounts to 48,387 48, rand. With the remaining 1,613, we will... Thank we you, Tavis. Your time is up. You look down at your phone. You didn't make eye, eye contact with any of us. And what we actually want to get in this pitch is a sense of who Greener Pasture is. is. Yeah. And we didn't really get that because your eye contact was just, it was not with us. Okay. okay? Uh, can you just give me all the elements of outsourcing in your business at the moment? Uh, basic, right now we outsourcing our cage, mm. uh, forklift, mm. as well as our skip bin. Okay. How much does that amount to on a monthly basis? Uh, Cage, we're losing 50 cents. We're losing 50 cents. I want to know what the total amount that you're losing on a monthly basis is. I uh, haven't but gone done, actually. So you haven't done the mathematics? Yes, I haven't done the mathematics on how much we're losing. Okay, sure. And the skip bin? Pardon? And the skip bin? Right now, we don't have a skip bin. Okay. He you said you're losing 1.2 per cage every week. Yes, Can you talk um, us through that again? Because now, when they collect, they give us one rand twenty, okay. one rand twenty per kg. So a cage loads eight hundred cage loads eight hundred kgs. So that amounts to that amounts to nine hundred nine hundred and sixty nine hundred and six nine hundred and sixty. Whereas when we have our own cage, when when we have our own cage we can get that 50 cents, 50 cents that we're losing and actually make four, 400 rand per cake. So cage. it's 400 rand, not 40 rand? Yes, 400 okay. rand per collection of one cage. Mm -hmm. yes. sure. All right, judges, any what? further questions? Tabisa, I think we've heard enough. Okay. Please step out for a moment as you allow the judges to deliberate. Okay, thank you very much. Well, the pitch was nerve-wracking. What I could have done differently was that I could have gotten back home and actually done my numbers properly and actually researched more on what I'm losing and what I'm not losing. But we'll just have to wait and see. Tabis. Yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you I think so. Mm -hmm. I think so. I'll just have to go back home and fix where I need to fix. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's not an issue. It's I'll not fix. an issue. It's not an issue. I'll fix it. Lagato, you spent time with Tabiso yesterday. Mm. How do you think he did? I liked the fact that he spoke. Um, he spoke about the numbers today. Okay. I think they were not as clear as we all expected, perhaps. Okay. Or maybe it's an assumption. I don't know. I agree. Yeah, but um, I understand what's really happening in his business. All the points put out, I think, are, are spot on. Hence, okay. I was asking a specific question of, are you there to actually watch your guys do that? So he's about? speaking about training and yes. people being unskilled, but yes. actually it's a lack of management from his side. Process. That's actually Absolutely. coming through. Yeah. Process sure. management. Absolutely. Okay. And remember, gang, if you don't clean your material as well, you lose money. Yes, yes. He's management. actually there, he's on site, yeah. um, but he's not able to see whether people are doing the right thing. Mm. So it's more than just management. I think it is absolutely mm. processes, Martin. What do you say? It's process management and, and people management. Mm. Do you think you made a strong point or a strong case, Kuma Chachi Zwetu? But I understand, Utai, no means is within a zinc, in a zinc, Mali, Uzole to Mundu. Asim Nigele Mali. Cut bags will look. Uh, I hope they did. I'm going with you, Bazui. Mm. Mm. Keeping your answers nice and short, eh? Gomel. <laughs> Gomel. Ah, Asaz. The fact that he's saying that people not, don't listen to him, even when he's there, he needs to go and do 
go into the skip and yeah. take it out himself. Mm. That yeah. to me mm. tells me that m myself as a manager, I'm not empowering the next person. Yeah. Mm. Because I would take the approach to say, Lerato, come with me. Mm. Let me just explain to you. You know, that that's in the skip yeah. and right now. It needs to yeah. be removed because this is yeah. the implication that it has on the business. Yeah. Right? So it is actually training. Correct. What verdict are you expecting? We'll have to wait and see. Uh, the he says he's doing glass. So he's, he's but he's renting the the skipper bin. He's renting so, the skipper bin. Yeah, oh, yeah. for the glass. Yeah. So okay. he'll he'll increase there. Yeah. Okay. But what worries me is when you ask the question, by how much? Yeah. How yeah. many tons are you doing? Yes. What is your margins yeah. going to be? Again, yeah. the business mapping needs yeah. to be done. He knows the business. Mm. Let's bring him back and let's have a chat with him. He's selling glass for you. No more. Tavisa, yeah. on a scale of 1 to 10, how do you think your pitch went? 7. 7? 10 being the best? Yes. Seven. Okay, not quite. Okay. I don't think we quite hit a 7 there, but okay. there are some things that you're doing right. Okay. okay, thank you. But there are a few issues that we have to look at. Yes. And there are a few issues that we need to address. Okay. The first of them being your commitment to achieving your goals yes. and financial management. I think it's a critical, critical, critical component of any character, of any leader, to make sure that they're committed enough to align to their vision, not just in thought, not just in word, but also in action. Okay. So we're going to give you three actions okay. that we believe would put your business at a different place. Okay. The first of them is for you to get a board of, of advisors. Okay. Okay. It's important for you to have an element of accountability in your business. It's important for you to have people to report to because at the moment it's just you mm. yes and it's, it's in that instance it's very easy for you to go off the rails then we also need you to map up to your processes okay waste is driven by kilograms okay. and what lands on your scale yes and it's very important for you to control that from end to end Okay. It's very important for you to also train your employees around that process okay. in order for you to optimize the process and have it running smoothly and well. Okay. The last thing I need you to do is to decide what kind of waste you want to work with. Okay. You don't need to be a jack of all trades and a master of none. You don't need to be bringing in every form of waste. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay. And I want you to think about your operations, think about profitability, mm. what's making you more money. Okay. and streamline your operations. You don't need to do everything. Tabi, so you know, discipline and sloppiness will filter through to every element of your business if mm. you don't get that right. Okay. okay. So if you're seeing that something's not running smoothly within your business, you have every right as the leader to take someone by the hand and say to them, you know what, the impact of that is this on the business. Can we please make sure that we don't do that? People respect you. Mm. And that's the characteristic and the discipline that you'll take forward into your business. Tabiso, um, unfortunately, we have decided that you are not going to make it through. Okay. Um, however, yes. I think we've given you at least four deliverables to, to implement. Okay. And hopefully we'll come visit you and see if, if you've implemented them. Thank you. Well, my overall experience from being here would be that I've learned a lot about what needs to be done in my business and what I need to improve in my business.
Kamalam Mulindogu Setuma. I am the co-founder of Iziko Stoves. Iziko Stoves we manufacture cooking stoves which are made from recycled geysers and paint drums and gas cylinders. Iziko Stoves are made by rehabilitated substance abusers at a rehab centre in Newlands. We work within a drug rehabilitation centre where we help our substance abusers, but come through and see. This is the easy go it donuts. He sends you a kiza in Dala. Uvelufage in Kunzako, on a mama, a charcoal yako, and you, put, you can put it for the lacolus Zulu, or you can use it as a pry. It's a very functional stove on a hambanas. Genyanga sends a ito for a zoo 1500 capacity. But the book dies as well, about 800 of the Zidov. The Tessa and Jelly H. Lugan, Conabafuna, Ogu Tenga, Paspona via social media, we sell via agents. Ikamala Musintem Bilisipai, I'm the co founder of Fizigo Stove. Utalagam was an old Duma, Sikale, five years ago. Uh, that's where Sisangane University were part of the organization they made dealing with work among social entrepreneurs. So the love of social entrepreneurship for Minano Duma and from then onwards we decided to work uh, together. And, uh, last year we started the company Zigo Stoves and with the company we saw that together we can combine our strengths, Ugutisake, you know, something that could help people, I'm a drug users, uh, substance abusers, empathy, you know, to Ugutisake is above better people in their communities. You know, we are students. So, we are in business. We are in business. So, business. So, we are in the industry competition. We are in the industry. And this is a stove. We are in the industry. 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 We are in I think for us, we are in the funding anywhere else. We are in the competition. And we are in the industry. I think yeah, if it is in the industry. Because it was a very really business plan. Business Lindsay, my particular Lilula, isn't a bad legile, no Zaz, it's one of Funan, Munguban. So your identity is very important because it sets you apart, foot. You need to do your research, foot. Bad legile, because Munga is the researchers and Zama business are fun. And also get a team to work with you because you can't do it alone. If you are an entrepreneur and would like to be featured on the show, contact us on Making Moves at sabc.co.za or visit our website 